happen. Oh, no. Same thing. Wow. Every time. Anyway, hello, everyone. Welcome to Bratopia. I'm Brit, and I have here my mods and my trusty best friend, Bamber, V, and Waffles. We're going to be talking about Batman in general, really. And, and purple thongs, maybe. But, <laughs> wow. We got to bring that one well, up. There's some baking socks here and there, too. Yes? Should I just knock out the Batman stuff now so we can get to the fun stuff? Yes. Like purple thongs? Well, like purple thongs. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> All because... And I just noticed... Go ahead. I, I just noticed that the uh, that the quote you made, Britt, the stream will start soon. The mods are preparing their hentai. Oh, oh shit. You saw that. Do you Wait, think don't I tell am? them about my hentai collection. <laughs> I mean, who do you think through. I do you think I'm Dark Side Phil? Do you think I'm Dark Side Phil? I don't think you are. Yeah. You might be. And I thought actually. we were gonna keep my uh my new career choice a secret until <laughs> that new podcast dropped. Britt, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what this was gonna be. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so for anyone who hasn't catched my stream before, I just finished the Batman Arkham Asylum game. I not a hundred percent completion like I thought because you have to do the challenge things and extra content and crap like that. But I'll be doing that tomorrow. So tune in on that. V also played Arkham Asylum, I believe. Uh can you Arkham us? Asylum City and Night. Yeah, so he's played all three of them. I'll be playing the next two, uh probably next month, whatever time. I don't know. Just just follow my stream elements leaderboard. It has all my shit there. I update it as much as I can. Anyway, Bamber, she's just she's here to make things. Hi. Yeah. She's here Great. sitting sitting there looking pretty. So. I mean, I'm just a fat gerbil in the picture. <laughs> and then I, I wouldn't say a fat gerbil. <laughs> I meant what I said. Oh man. And then we have here Waffles, my uh, lead moderator, who also is like my lead clipper as well. And he's probably have watched as much Batman as I've played it. So welcome everyone. I, I did watch Trouble of Two Earths. That was a good movie. Trouble what? Is that even a Batman movie? Yeah. Trouble of yeah. It's kind of based off of some stuff in the comics, which I don't want to get into because Jesus Christ, when you have years hanging out with comic book nerds telling you about every single facet, you're just like, can you please shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Because <clears throat> um, every single thing in the Arkham games is a reference to more and more titles tied into other big events in fucking comics. And it annoys me to no end when I'm just getting texts like, Oh, did you see this Easter egg? Did you see that Easter egg? Do you know why that person was included? Do you know why that person was included? Like, motherfucker, can you shut your goddamn mouth, please? <laughs> oh, man. Well, I found out V's wearing the purple thong. <laughs> <laughs> for, I have to. For any viewers watching this in the future, because I notice I get a lot of views off stream and stuff. Uh, so if you haven't seen the Batman Arkham Asylum, there is a part where Joker makes a obviously makes a comment saying that oh there must be some terrifying things blah 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 not exact words but he does mention about what could be worse to look at me in a purple thong or some shit and it was wow quite the imagery oddly oddly enough there have been um elseworld stories where when Joker gets out of bed he is wearing a purple thong which is <laughs> Literally a costume design that people have drawn. <laughs> I mean, if you pay the artist enough, they'll pretty much draw anything. Amen. <sighs> <laughs> I have hey, pay, pay the fanfic writer enough and they'll write anything. Not wrong. You, Not wrong. Wrote, you wrote my stuff for free. Yeah. That's because I'm trying to get my foot in the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, Britt, is there anything Batman related you want me to knock out of the park before we get back to the fun stuff, or...? Um, let's talk about the basics, the basics of Batman. We... everyone knows the movies. Um, I wouldn't say everyone knows the comics, because I didn't grow up reading the comics. I only remembered the Adam West version and the animated series, 
and Arkham Asylum. So that's as far as my like my knowledge of Batman goes. Uh, I don't know. About oh, you else. lucky, lucky bitch! <laughs> I know a lot of fan <laughs> theories that dwell inside the DC universe, but besides that, I have no idea. Oh, you lucky bitch! <laughs> <laughs> so. A little bit of backstory with Batman before he had his depressing, depressing backstory of, I just saw my parents die in, in an alleyway when I was a little, and after that, I stopped being a child. So, before that, he was just a happy-go-lucky guy with with his best friend of, best friend that basically helped him with everything. He didn't have a butler in the original comics for him in, de in, in a Detective Comics. He was literally with his close, ambiguously gay friend that was basically going to be Robin, where when Alfred was finally introduced, it was several issues later, where he was just like the uh, Nanny McPhee slash the original Mary Poppins of, I ain't here for your shit, Bruce. Get yourself together. Before finally people were just like, we need to make him seem more edgy, more grounded, less like Superman of the Golden Age. Which gave him the backstory of when he was either eight or nine years old after seeing the movie Mask of Zorro with his parents. They went down this dark alleyway and this mysterious guy, where no matter what the continuity is, whether it was monsters set it up or it was the Joker or it was random thug there, whatever the fucking continuity it was, gunned down his parents in front of him. He had a, a giant mental shutdown where instead of people like, we should probably get this kid some psychiatrical help for what is, he's going through. They're just like, he's rich. Let his butler take him home. He then turned his psychotic breakdown into, I'm going to become the world's greatest detective, ninja, escape artist, push my whole entire physical form beyond the human limits itself and become the unstoppable crime fighter. But I need a symbol. He then stared at a, at a bat for so long, he was like, bats inspire fear. I'll make my entire costume bat themed. Which then became the world's greatest detective of Batman. Following, he then decided to try to adopt young Dick Grayson after seeing his parents get horribly murdered in the circus to become the first Robin, where he became a protege of his for several years before finally seeing the darkness that is inside Batman that has been dwelling inside of his soul from all of his years of training, and being basically a psychologically broken child that never got any help to begin with. <laughs> and finally left his sorry ass to be like, you know, I'm gonna go and become my own superhero. Because I have friends, I can leave and be with them, which he did to form the Titans. And then he became Nightwing, and then almost married Starfire, but then no one wants Dick Grayson to be happy because everyone fucking hates Dick Grayson. So then we finally go into the second Robin that Bruce Wayne kidnaps, I mean adopts. Uh, Jason Todd, who was the more unlikable Robin because he was the bad boy, because nobody likes the bad boy. I mean, just look at Bamber. She, she's got, like, Waffles and Vile fighting over her on a daily basis. And we don't know who the bad boy is in that scenario. Anyway, Jason Todd, Jason Todd comes in the picture just, just like, I'm the cool bad boy. And then no one likes him, so then they write this whole storyline of Joker kidnapping him and torturing him for several fucking days straight and then beating him with a fucking pipe wrench before just like, I'm going to blow your ass up in this fucking container. And then Bruce finally has a race against time to try and find Jason. And thanks to vo popular votes, Jason dies. And then we're like, oh, it's sad. But then he comes back as the notorious mercenary for hire of the Red Hood, who was one of Batman's be uh, greatest villains because he was trained by Batman. But then after getting his ass kicked by Nightwing, one of the greatest superheroes of all time, he's like, you know what? Fuck y'all. I'm going to find my own way in life to become an anti-hero to then finally be incorporated into the Bat family, which then gives us a whole slew of other Tim Drake. Stephanie Brown, and finally, Bruce Wayne's son of Damian Wayne from Talia al Ghul, which he apparently knocked up at some point, to then just be like, here's your son. I didn't tell you about him because I figured you wouldn't fuck me anymore. Here's your kid to raise however the fuck you want. I'm out now. It's like, so are you going to hit that later? Of course. Slaps her own ass and then gets on a plane out of there. 
And then... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, does he breathe? <laughs> I was like, he doesn't breathe. <laughs> oh, we keep ranting. <laughs> okay, I finished. <laughs> I told you, there is a lot that gets drilled in your head when you have comic book nerds for friends. I didn't even go into his lesbian cousin who's Batwoman, or the African Batman that's Lucius Fox's, I think, nephew or, or like, son. One of those things. And then other sor or sorts of people that became a second Batgirl. Then there's also Barbara Gordon who became Oracle, then Batgirl again. Then there's all the stuff about Huntress being either a t a different world version of when Bruce and Selina get together after a marriage to then have their own child to become the Huntress, or the original Huntress from or, from the original Earth 616, whichever version they want to go into. And then there's also how Alfred helped train other people in the Bat family. Then there's Firebird. Not to mention all the connections that go into how how the Justice League functions, and how Batman has kind of been the worst hero for the Justice League comics since he's created Brother Eye, which kind of caused a lot of issues where a bunch of heroes probably almost died, along with the government causing some issues and some time-traveling issues. Then there's the future Batman, which is Terry McGinnis, which is a clone, technically, of Batman from DNA that was stolen from Batman at older age, given into someone else's bloodstream, to then make himself into a superhuman, to then go into a whole com convolution of, you know, it's just, let's just say comics are fucking weird, dude. Comics are fucking weird. Batman makes no fucking sense. He's a deranged rich man that needs psychiatrical help. No one's helping him. He's delusions of grandeur and beats up people for no fucking reason instead of running his own goddamn settling down to have a wife and kids and doing something normal. That's he is a very broken man that people make money off of. It is sad. It's depressing. I don't like it. You may continue, Britt. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm all trying to play around with the emotes of spam in chat. And <laughs> I couldn't find the perfect one. But holy shit. I found two. <laughs> how, how, and how yeah, does it make you feel, how It do doesn't make me feel any better. It's like ranting about Kingdom Hearts. I never feel good about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, with. That being said, with V, uh, Batman's pretty fucked up. So, <laughs> yeah. I just, I just imagined the meme of like the big chalkboard with all the writing on it, and then it's like, in conclusion, folks, Batman is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how it is. But you know what's interesting is that there are so many people who are fans. Like, they're just big old fans of Batman. Even my family and I, well, more like my husband and I, are fans of Batman. We pr Well, Joker, really. But for Batman, what, why, why do you guys think that people are drawn to him? Is it because of his insanity? Is it something that we can relate to? Is it something that we strive for, like, with his, uh, like his wealth, like his gadgets, all the cool stuff that he has? Is it possibly that we all share a issue with mental health along of being almost on the brink of insanity basically what is it i think it's a combination of all of it yeah pretty much I think yeah so it's crazy well right? that was quick because <laughs> comparing it to like all the other heroes that dc's made he's the only one that literally made himself one of the greatest heroes by being just a regular human he's basically like Marvel's Iron Man version, but dark. I see it as. I wouldn't say he's Iron Man. No, no, Tony no, no. no. Is, Tony like, has better, has worse issues. See, I don't really know too much about Marvel. I um no. See, in some, <laughs> in some versions, in some versions of the comic book Marvel, because Marvel really loves their multiverse. Um, in some versions, like Iron. Iron Man, instead of like how the movies where they show everybody kind of fading to dust, Iron Man has at some points of the multiverse watched every single one of his friends get brutally murdered in front of him. Or eaten. In front or eaten or just dead. Just murdered right in front of him and dead. So, 
Which is why he left the drinking problem, and he's probably going to return to the drinking problem. Because he's, uh, he, he's been in so many fights and probably so much PTSD. He probably, I don't know, he probably deserves all the Jack Daniels. Or probably turn to crack cocaine. There's not enough crack or Jack Daniels in the world for him. I think he might need something stronger than that. Well, there's no fusion of meth and crack yet. I mean, Detroit Become Human says red eyes doesn't exist until 2020. See, I don't need to worry about things like LSD and drugs and whatnot, because uh, when I was 15, I had lesions in my brain. And now even to this day, I have sleep paralysis issues, and I the most weird screwed up dream. So, and cream from what you see on this imaginary chalkboard, we're all fucked up. Are you, are you calling me a square? Yeah, probably. Well... You mean psychological, psychological. Psychedelic is a type of- like, What's the effect you get when you do take drugs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what Batman needs. He needs to talk to the Scarecrow right in his face and take some shrooms. Maybe give some shrooms to Scarecrow too. <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe that's how Scarecrow got his idea. It's just mushroom spores. And- Everybody's high on shrooms when they're around him. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting the shrooms from a uh, scarecrow. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. If, I don't know. A, cap, a couple of uh, nights ago, I had an episode of sleep paralysis. And uh, basically, I was awake. I can't move around because the term sleep paralysis. And, and I looked around me, and there was like, you know, people staring at me. And so I just kind of turned around and started flipping them all off. And then I turned around and punched my laptop. How exciting. So, <laughs> so I don't think you want shrooms. I've never been on shrooms, but I'm imagining that's something like what shrooms is like. And... Okay, so since we're going to be talking about psychedelics because i fuck up my <laughs> words and stuff <clears throat> so i was taught because i'm also a square or whatever that shrooms they um they make you like have your subconscious believe or see something that is not there it's basically your subconscious like creating images for you while lsd makes like the world kind of look loose is from what incorrect I information, my good square. Is it the other way around? <laughs> yes, for a lot of different reasons. A, due to the fact that LSD and crystal meth had that whole thing about endorphins making everything very, very lucid and vivid about having a liquid dream in real life, which, if you have a weak enough psyche, then goes into a lot grander details. And then all of a sudden, someone's just like, I can taste the rainbow. It's just like, Jimmy, are you okay? I'm flying, Vin. <laughs> well, well, mushrooms. And I remember mushrooms a lot because if I remembered to, to not take mushrooms, my twins would actually have been born and I'd be a full-blown dad. But, um, it's more or less... It's, it's kind of like taking three different uh, three different bricks of really really laced marijuana, but with a pinch of something from LSD. Like it's a mind expansion that also tries to numb 
numb you out to where a lot of your systems kind of just falter at a slow pace. Where if you can't pull yourself out of it strongly, you can then end up into a vegetative state that could lead to death. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So, shrooms kill people. If you take the wrong kinds, yeah. I think that's what happened to someone that I know. Okay, so, little story time with psychedelics. Um, okay, so someone I know who's very close to me, uh, their mom called me, because they, kn they know me and husband and stuff, said that they're tripping on shrooms, having a really bad trip. Apparently, he, he definitely was, like, not there, but he was very conscious that we were there with him, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, that way we were there to, like, secure him, make sure he wasn't, like trying to do something crazy i mean he almost ate pizza off the parking lot rocks you know those little rock fucking landscapes that they do and stuff in some places and uh after he got out of his trip like six eight hours later he was saying there was uh he saw he could have sworn he saw an alligator the monkey bars look like there was a lion climbing on it or something. Shout out to V, by the way. Um, and then <laughs> he definitely he said that he was definitely seeing things though when he was on shrooms. So I'm not sure if exactly, maybe if it is the wrong kind of shrooms he was on, or maybe it was a different type of shroom he was on. Yes, no, maybe so. I don't know. I don't know. I've never. I was getting water. Sorry. I figured. <laughs> <laughs> Muted. Should I tell my story when I took um, edibles before going to cooking class? Yes. I always love edible stories. Okay. So my friend bought some edibles and we're all just sitting outside of the class waiting for the chef to come in. And he offered me a piece. But he didn't tell me how strong it was, because the one little piece that he gave me totally fucked me over. And, like, I just felt like the weight of the world was on my shoulders. I was really slow. And, like, my friend, who also took the same amount of edibles as I did, kept constantly coming over to me and was like, are my eyes okay? Like, are they okay? And I was like, dude, I can't even tell right now. I'm trying to fucking chop things with a knife that I shouldn't be chopping right now. <laughs> I shouldn't even be handling a knife, period, because of the state that I'm in, but I'm doing it anyways. And yeah, I managed to survive a four-hour class on edibles. And when I got home, my reward was to eat my tacos as loud as I can because I, what the fuck, I had no control over my mouth. <laughs> Just eat them. Basically, it was like loud <laughs> smacking sounds going on, and my roommate was like, are you okay? And I was like, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, it's, it's better to do it like that instead of just all of a sudden having people just gather around while you're trying to say, oh, no, dude, no, 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 we're, we're fine, fine. No, like I said, this wasn't cook. I, I was still in the class, so I was Cutting things with a really sharp knife, I was working around fire, you know, all that other dangerous things. Oh yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of like having a bunch of people get super, super stoned before a chemistry class. Yeah. Good lord. I can only imagine. Oh, it's like, hilarious. Of course, I mean, but I mean... <laughs> Ray, I, I'm kind of sad you never experienced that kind of stuff while you are in high school. I mean, you had to do it at least once. I, I'm good. I'll pass. I'll pass. I've always had, I don't know. Um, okay, so when I was in high school, totally different person. I mean, I think everyone was-ish? I don't know. Um, but back in my high school times, I was very sheltered, very conservative in a way. So, like, even even back then, I thought, oh, uh, me uh not meth. Um, obviously it's a bad one. Uh, marijuana, it's, it's a gateway drug, it's terrible for you. It's, like, no, you, that's how you no. get bad decisions and shit like that. And then, of course, I moved to no. Albuquerque, oh. New Mexico, where weed is the norm. It's everywhere, you, no matter where you look at it. It's basically Denver without it being completely legal. Wait, I think it is legal. No, no, no. Yeah, there is. There's dispensaries and shit and cards. Anyway. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> 
but <laughs> after the many years of living here, I've learned that it's no big deal. It's literally just a plant, just like cigarettes. Cigarettes are much worse than uh, weed. But uh, what is it? Meth and per over not over the counter prescription. Those doctor prescribed medicines are the top drugs that are going around in this town. Meth, to Zanny, Ritalin, yeah, co uh, cough syrup, oxy. Codon? Ox oxycodone? Yeah, oxycodone. oxycodone. Yeah. I thought cough syrup was just your two. Um, oh, no, there's ways you can turn it. Or to buy actual alcohol. Oh, no, you can turn cough syrup into drugs. I've yeah. seen it happen. Oh. Uh, so, I guess I can sum up to say that waffles, Brit, you don't have to worry about being squished. Me and Ben. Ember lived lived enough for both of you. Okay. <laughs> Probably have. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Oh, like, uh, I've had actually. I've had meth actually, in water not... by accident. They they put it in my <laughs> fucking coffee, dude. <laughs> actually, I take that back. There was one time I was drugged, but it wasn't voluntary. Was it like um, at the hospital? No, it was, um, it, I was actually at a flea mall, and I was buying some, uh, my mom want, my mom likes candles and incense stuff and whatnot, you know, she just likes that stuff. And anyway, there was this, uh, one person that I heard was really good with incense, and found out, uh, she had, you know, and I was kind of, you know, sniffing the incenses, kind of testing out. And she pulled one from under the counter and, like, sh sh ran it right across my nose, and I wasn't ready for it. And I didn't th think anything of it. I'm like, okay, all right, thank you. I'm not going to buy that. You know, that was kind of weird. Um, and, then, like, five minutes later, my jaw locked um, my, like, arms. I couldn't feel my arms at all. And, like, I started having, like, the room started spinning. And, uh, yeah, I almost went to the hospital with that. So. It sounds like part so, of it. So, yeah. It sounds like maybe it was anxiety that, it, like, helped induce that idea, too. Because I'm, I'm always told that I should do shrooms because it'll help out my artistic abilities and stuff like that. Maybe give me a open insight. <laughs> yeah. I can't oh, do it. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, right? But these I have never... I'll, oh, go ahead, Britt. Uh, oh, shit. What was I going to say? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I spelled shrooms um, wrong. I, I've, really, I've met a few people that have, you know, taken shrooms. I just don't find that art up to any kind of good standard. I I don't like shroom art. And they're usually, like, talented artists, but when they, in my opinion, when they go to shrooms, their art does diminish quite a bit. That's how I feel about it. Like, Brent, so. you want to know what, you want to know what I can tell you about shroom art personally? Shoot. There was a time where, when I took shrooms, this is like during that that period where I was full blown self hating myself on a self destructive journey about how many ways can I almost kill myself. Uh, uh, thanks to shrooms, I was able to draw the most interesting abstract piece of Abraham Lincoln vomiting up the leg of Napoleon that had the eye of Sauron as the foot itself was puking out Satan to try and eat you from the portrait itself. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> wow. I have another drug story, guys. Oh, good lord. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was probably, I want to say three, when Jeez. my... 
Yeah, you don't have three. Let's let me tell the story. <laughs> let me tell the story. Okay. So I was around like I think three, maybe two. I don't quite remember the age. Um, where me and my brother and my dad and our dog at the time were gonna go to the park to play, and it was during the summer. And but I think I told you the story where I ran to the park, and there's like these little wood chip area and like the playground, and these two Asian kids quite older than me, decided, we're going to play golf in the tar pit, wood chippy area. And I was in the line of crossfire, so when they swung, they hit me in the head. And I was screaming my head off. The only thing I remember was seeing the terrified look on the Asian kid's face. And my dad quickly picking me up and taking me home. And from what my mom said, that my dad had my brother take the dog home, and she was pissed because she was like, why'd your dad do that? And then here's me screaming, and then when she pulls him, pulls me away from him, um, sees that I got hit in the head near the eye, like, so deep that you could see the bone. Ooh. So they rushed me to the hospital, and, um. The doctor's like, yeah, we're going to have to stitch your head up, and we're going to give her some really powerful drugs that are have the same side effect as, like, LSD and stuff. So, mom, we don't need you to freak out or anything like that. And my mom's like, I'll be okay. And it, it freaked my because she saw me, like, my eyes dilated, my speech was really slow, my movements were really slow, and it just freaked her the fuck out. As you do. Yeah. And so my mom told me, I never want to see you like that again. And I was like, okay. Fucking turned 16 and started smoking weed, and she saw me like that most of the time. (laughs) Oh, man. I have a nice little scar on my face. It it runs along my eyebrow, so I have a really fucked up eyebrow. Like, no hair, like, hardly any hair grows there. Same, except I was came at from with a nose trimmer. So, anyway. Hey, I met a kid who was like that. With a nose trimmer. Kind of weird. <laughs> no, he um, what happened is that he had this like weird scar on top of his head, and, and uh, so I asked him about like you know like how do you get a scar like that? Because he was like ten years old, I was like fourteen, so. This was a long, long time ago. Uh, uh, and uh, anyway, he said that, um, and his dad confirmed it, but they were vacationing in an area that was uh, less than safe. And a, uh, what happened was a car bomb went off and a piece of metal scraped his head. So... When you so when you were talking about like, like scars in the eyebrow, it just reminded me of that. Luckily, the doctor said if it hit any lower, like on my like tor- like actual my eye, I would have lost the eye. I would have really been a pirate, Brit. <laughs> I mean, that would be cool. Kind of, sort of. I mean, pirates and their scurvy, you know. <laughs> Just gotta bring those oranges. I'd be a scurvy-free pirate. Oh. But he- well, that was here's, here's the thing, Britt. I live, in, I live in a town that Blackbeard lived in. So we in, uh, or I should say I live close to it. I'm about 40-minute drive. So... The thing, of, the thing down here is that we all say pirates are about the booty. What? Yes. Like that is a thing we say down here. Shit there. Yeah. So, because, I mean, I, I live right there on the coast, so... Okay. But it's 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 really creepy when like a ninety year old man says it and he's looking at me. He wants the booty. 
He just really, really wants them cheeks, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He can go somewhere else. Just tell him to go to San Francisco. He'll get all the booty. And then you find out it's like the wrong kind of booty that you want. I don't know, Britt. If he was looking at me, I don't think he was too picky. What if he thought you I were mean, maybe it a is woman? pride. Such a slender it, figure. It's gonna be Pride Month. It's Pride Month. I mean, the Pride Parade is this weekend. Can you keep up on Pride. What? I keep forgetting my birthday is on Pride Month. Every year, I keep going like, ah, dang. Who? Knew? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I lost my virginity during Pride Month before Pride Month was even spoken of. I think so. There's that. But I mean, I wasn't. I was. I was with the opposite sex, oh. so it's not. I guess I don't really don't count. So, uh, yeah, and of course, you know, he because he was uh, he was seriously hitting, them. and uh, while I was at work, so that that that's a thing I laugh about now. But uh, yeah, oh boy. I mean, I got a hit on when I was working at the amusement park because someone really wanted free Dippin' Dots. <laughs> Dude, I... I if, mean, if they wait, want the Dippin' Dots... I get dot? free Dippin' Dots if I hit? <laughs> I don't work there no more. But, I mean, still, would it work on someone who actually works there, though? I mean, I actually anything. know how to make Dippin' Dots. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. So, to answer the question, if she hit on you... Would you give her free Dippin' Dots? I mean, she doesn't even have to hit on me. I would make her Dippin' Dots anyways. <laughs> well, Best Waffle, friend, you know what we have to do now. <laughs> make Dippin' Dots? Well, that too. <laughs> How would you even make oh, Dippin' Dots anyway? Uh, just is that is, are you asking me? Like little bitty dots. I'll, send, I'll put the video in chat. Give There's a, a video? Oh my god. I'm yeah. watching ah! the video. Hey, v, v, v. Mm -hmm. are, are you saying that you're jealous that I did it with Vile and not with you? Not really. <laughs> v is like, I am okay to not be on this ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have forgotten. Like, I was okay name. with not fighting over Bamber with you because I was like, I already knew I had no shot. Because, I mean, if anyone could see Bamber, that's, like, tier A. And you need to be at least tier A or t or tier C, where I'm tier who gives a shit. <laughs> and, all, and also, ain't you married? Ain't you married anyway? I mean, yeah, but, but I was, like, if it's a ship, though, I mean, why not aim for a high ship? There, I put the dip and not the video in. It looks like Sorbet. For those who can't see this, you can join uh, the Topia Army Discord, by the way. The pop-up usually pops up. I'll mark it. Doesn't mark it. I'll mark. I should put... No. I'll put, put that in... I could do it. Foods! Actually, I could... Well, let's say their way. Ha! That was a second faster. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, what happened was my elbow caught on my pillow. Mm. My elbow caught on my pillow, so... Mm. Blame the pillow. Yes, I'm in bed right now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You know how that just sounded? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm in fuck. bed right now. <laughs> so, uh... I'm flipping that. <laughs> oh, fuck. I, 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 I was hoping someone would be like, so, uh, what are you wearing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, uh, V, we ain't big enough for that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, uh, Britt, if you're gonna ask, uh, I'm still in my work, you know. Oh. Ew. That's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> the pun jokes. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Britopia, everyone. <laughs> it's, it's bad pun jokes everywhere. Here, I should give you all a quiz. Do you know where Dippin' Dots originated from? No, but I know Wendy's was started in November 1969. No one's talking about Wendy's. <laughs> I only know that because... That's a good year. 69 was a good year. 
Yeah, I heard a lot of pe- people were just sucking off and licking their way into the new year. <laughs> <laughs> but where was a Dippin' Dots originated from, Bamber? The audience wants to know. In Lexington, Kentucky. Kentucky. Of course it was. Yeah. Kentucky. That sounds about right. That, that does sound about right. That sounds like something Kentucky would do. You ever seen a way to make... How <laughs> 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 oh. do you spell that? I don't know. <laughs> no offense to Kentucky, and since you made Kentucky Fried Chicken, but I'm just saying, y'all made tiny balls feel good to go on people's mail. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Awful. Wow. <laughs> so anyway, it reminded me of balls. So, back <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm kidding. I have nothing. I just wanted to make that joke. It wasn't even a joke, but whatever. Anyway. So, okay. So we talked about the comics, or more like V basically just ran down a good five minutes of Batman history from the comics and stuff. Well, what about the movies? Uh, I just gl- I just glossed over like everything that you would want to know about the comics. If you want to know everything, that's like several hundred years of notes. But um, which comics, an- uh, which uh, movies, animated, CGI, live action, that one I porno think- spoof? I think all of them. I feel like the most popular ones that everyone seems to be always re- uh, like referencing is Dark Knight. I think it's because of Heath Ledger. I don't know. I thought he did a good ba- uh Batman. Ha. Ah, did a good Joker. Joker? Yeah. Um reminded me of that. Uh, but then there's all the uh if you look at the cartoons, I feel like the very the best one in my opinion is the animated series, the one that came out Mark Hamill. Yes. How can you not? I mean, Mark Hamill himself said that Heath Ledger was the best live action one, where even Jack Nicholson from the Tim Burton Batman movie said that he took the crown from him, where for years the Tim Burton Batman movies were the pinnacle about how to do storytelling until, oh God, Joel Schumacher ruined it with whiny Robin and bat nipples. (laughs) Oh my God, are you? Oh, the George Clooney Batman? Oh my God, dude, those were my childhood movies. Like I already yeah. Kilmer and fucking George Clooney Batman were just like the most campy ones ever. Wasn't he also the deep voice Batman? Uh I th- like, think Where was... is she? Where is she? I <laughs> don't oh, know, that was um Christian Bale from the Oh uh, the, from the trilogy of Christian of uh, Nolan uh, no, f- what the fuck was that asshole's name? The one that made Inception. Um Ooh, Tom ooh, Cruise? Uh, I don't remember. Who made Inception? You mean yeah, the director? Yeah, the director. Christopher Nolan. Yeah, Christopher Nolan. He oh. that that, uh, that pretentious asshole. Um, no, you can't. I, I don't know. After I've met Ryan Johnson, I don't think you can call any other director pretentious asshole. After Ryan Johnson. I mean, when he's basically just giving himself giving himself a hand job for Interstellar about being the most inter- interwoven, scientifically correct movie of all time about space travel into all things time and space, it's like, dude, we get it. Your arts, you're very fucking pretentious. Stop beating your own dick onto your own script. Yeah, but Ryan Johnson wrote The Last Jedi, and he's still beating himself off to that. Oh. God, he's proud of it? Yes, he is very proud of that. Ew. So, I mean, for whatever, you know, you're saying Christopher Nolan did, it does not hold a cancel, uh, candle to Ryan Johnson. Ew. I'm just thankful they brought back J.J. Abrams for the ninth movie. I the might... lens flares. I would rather have the lens flares than Ryan Johnson. Yeah. I would rather have a migraine than Brian Johnson. Yeah, that's that's sad. <laughs> but uh yeah, Christopher Nolan's Batman with uh, Christian Bale with the Where is she? 
Where is our return? Where is our return? It's like, okay, dude, we get it. You're really angry at the world. Can you please stop yelling in my ear? No! <laughs> then Heath Ledger had to give the most per- the most near perfect performance of the Joker in live action form all the way until his psyche was like, yeah, we can't deal anymore, and then end up killing himself. Because that's how powerful of a role that is. When it bleeds from fiction into reality, it literally kills you. So, uh, so in other words, what you're saying is that with acting, you have to ask, why so serious? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I have to be a uh, fair Brit. When you say clipped, uh, are you running off Twitch sound or uh, Discord sound? What do you mean? Well, like, for example, I have Discord on, but I only have Twitch in the background. I, I have the Twitch muted. I have Twitch muted, too. It's It's... It's really me saying clipped. Okay. Yeah. So you're not you're not waiting thirty seconds and be like, okay, is this it? Is this it? You know, you could clip stuff like immediately as soon as it's done, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then what happens is when I go to review the clips, I forget why I clipped it in the first place. I've had that happen before. And I just end up writing as the title, what the fuck? <laughs> Sounds about right. So, I like that's that why when you see named, like... What am I clipping? <laughs> it's just me like standing in front of me. No, that's head. because I couldn't see... I, I didn't see what you were seeing. Oh. And I couldn't figure out what you were talking about. What was I doing? And so when you said clipped it, I clipped it. But I'm like, I don't know what you wanted me to clip, Britt. That's okay. You don't have to question it. You can question it after, and then you'd be like, oh, man, I'm just fucking dumb. You know, even, even in review, I was still wondering, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, there's a couple clips that I can actually point out to you. What sucks is that freaking Discord only wants, like, 8 megabytes, even for the 30-second fi- clip, so it's hard to, like, try sharing any freaking clips through the Discord. That's because Discord is just like it's it's like too big for it's and Discord's too tight. They can't have anything too big. Too big, too tight. It's like anti. Well, that, woman. I don't know. I, I don't know. Big. Have you seen what the <laughs> Discord people have you seen what the Discord people like? No, I only They're kind I only follow of like ten channels, rooms, servers, or whatever you want to call it, and it's like I don't even uh, like okay. Them. So, all right, so here is the recent scandal that Discord has gotten herself involved with. Okay. The dirty whore. Um, so, we all know pedophilia is not allowed on Discord, you know, because this kind of thing where it's illegal. Yeah. But what the pedophiles did is they would take the pictures of children and draw them as furries into what is known as cub art, Mm. and they would pass it to each other. When Discord was called out on it, saying like, hey, you know, these are, you know, these people are being pedophiles. They're openly stating they're pedophiles. You know, can we kick them off? And they said, "Um, well, no, no, we don't care if it's based off the real image. You need to stop being, uh, you know, Phobic against furry. Nah. Wow. And it's like, that has nothing to do with furries. It has everything to do with the fact that you're endorsing pedophilia because just because it happens to be a fur. Uh, I mean, I'm still going to be prejudiced against furries in that regard because they had nothing nothing to do with this and they got dragged in for no reason i mean i understand that you know and i you know i have a lot of friends who are furry it's cub art i don't like yeah when you're you're trying to skip over the law when you're trying to skip over the law like that 
No. No, 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 no. Yeah. So... And, yeah, a lot of people have started boycotting Discord over it. Well, onward, team speak, and the fucking Skype, bitches. <laughs> hey, Toko, Toko is working on a, um, if they haven't made it already, Toko is working on a chat program to have video and audio calls. Oh, so Shameless plug because I'm trying to get a job there. <laughs> hey, do what you gotta do, pimping. I'm I got nothing but respect for. So you, you play that long game hustle. So and we're also trying to get a few game developers on there. We're working out the last deal to where um we're also yeah, like you said, we're getting paid. We are working on a Patreon-like system, and we're gonna we're gonna try working on a update system to where we can even push out PayPal. That'd be so lovely. Now I can literally whore my vo voice out and get paid at a better rate. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I'm not gonna go over like rates of commissions, but. I'm going to say that because we're making most of our money off of the Toco Pro subscriptions, we're going to keep our commission rate uh, very low. Very low. So, like, to Patreon, for example, if you donate a dollar to Brit, um, overall, Patreon will end up taking around two-thirds of it. We're taking, we're looking at around taking less than ten. So. Bitch. Yeah, for every dollar that Patreon takes from me, uh, or every dollar that I get on Patreon, it pays me out sixty-six cents or eighty-three cents, one of the two. I haven't checked my numbers in a while. That's because your grandfather account. Uh, a couple months ago, they said that they're gonna take a flat rate thirty-five cents. Yeah. For new accounts. Oh yeah, that's right. So. They, uh... Yeah, they did grandfather me and. Mm-hmm. Because I had, so, cause, yeah, a lot of the accounts before, no, it was supposed to be this year, isn't it? Or is it next year? Or last year? Duh. It was uh, two months ago, so yeah, this year. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I remember seeing Tumblr post about it, something, because, you know, Tumblr people, they mm -hmm. try to get the awareness out, and they use their fancy little words, and... I don't like Tumblr anymore. I don't Ever since either. they put that, like, weird, like, restriction on, I'm just like, not... Everything is like. Poor. Do you know why they did that? Same. Do you know why they did that? Cause there, cause I think there's already a law like that. Yes, it was passed in 2013, and it was supposed to take effect uh, six months ago. A lot of Republicans and Democrats tried to put in a bill because they realized, oh shit, we fucked up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And unfortunately, they weren't able to get that passed. So, well, I mean, right now, we're just busy trying to be angry at each other, just like, oh my god, we've made a mistake. We're trying to cancel the way to get free pornography. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no like everywhere, it's like we need, to, we need to destroy net neutrality. And it's just like, uh, Senator, you do realize now you're gonna have to pay for all of your porn. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> our millennials, because you know we always get blamed. Clipped, for that shit. clipped. <laughs> so oh, apparently, man. it's it's apparently just trying to scramble around. Just like, wait, wait, wait. Are you trying to set and tell us that I, an eighty-five year old man, have to pay to watch twenty-three year old <laughs> Asian lesbian instead of watching it for free? Yes. <laughs> I mean, if it comes down to it, they could always go to Chatterbait and like pay whatever the live girls are doing and the girls are like but they oh, also have to pay daddy. for the internet service to do that that's the whole thing <laughs> see they don't understand that though because they don't use the internet they just tell their assistant who is a millennial to go find it for them and then like okay so here you use your tablet i'll be back in 10 minutes mm, make a three and they deeply have to sanitize their hands no. after <laughs> How much you wanna how much you wanna bet that a lot of politicians in DC 
they have the millennial secretary, but then they try to decide to Harvey Weinstein the shit out of it. Mm. Hashtag keep my four. Mm. <laughs> How much you want to bet that? Because um, last year, <laughs> uh, last year they made a, um, or I should say a couple years ago, they made a thing or they released a thing where they talked about like all of the money that politicians have taken to pay for sex scandals. Because they all really, really, really thought they were clever with that shit. I know, right? It's like, it was uh, even my, it, even my representative, representative voted for that. He ended up taking like $300,000 out of it. That's Makes you wonder where the three hundred thousand dollars went. So, uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I spent it on hookers and blow. <laughs> <laughs> but he uh, he passed away after after that bill went into effect. So uh, I'm probably guessing what was keeping him alive. <laughs> hookers and blow. <laughs> You guys gotta remember, I'm an asshole. I don't give a fuck. Oh, nobody... The only reason why the guy would kept getting reelected is because he'd been there forever and nobody else wanted the job. So we're like, yeah, fuck it. We'll just, we'll just send him again. And now the entire district's in a panic. Now the entire district's in a panic because he died. Now we're like, oh shit, who's gonna do it now? Well, sucks to suck. I'm just going to sit on my porch and do nothing. Just going to eat my <laughs> cupcake. <laughs> That's what the old guys yeah, were doing like, before, uh, you know, they took away. Get it? Because it's... Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was... Th th this, it, it's been really fun living in my district. I can imagine while uh, it's been fun for everyone just like trying to scramble because I keep getting emails like help save net neutrality. I'm just like, why don't you just tell every single politician what they're going to pay? Because the moment they lose the anything with the Internet without having to pay for and pay for every single part of the service every step of the way, they're going to wait a minute. You mean to tell me I can't? annoy people without having to pay three hundred dollars for the time I spent? You mean to tell me I can't be bothering to just tap the screen in annoyance from FaceTiming for five hundred dollars? <laughs> you mean to tell me that I a man in his prime of being in his 80s have to pay $500,000 for all the porn I recently watched in just an afternoon. <laughs> just the afternoon. He's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, yes, Senator. That's what you have to pay because the internet's no longer free. Well, why didn't you tell me? We did, like, 500 times. You were just like, you millennials are just telling lies. Shut your goddamn mouth, millennial. Help me save the goddamn internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It was, um, actually, there was a, uh, you kind of have to, this is kind of a uh, nice Trump state. But Trump did try to propose a mailing and internet tax on companies like Amazon and Netflix. Yeah. Because they end up using 60% of the bandwidth combined. And they're like, hey, um, Amazon, Netflix, if you're going to use the federal shipping service, and if you're going to use the, you know, government-constructed internet, um, we think you should actually be paying to maintain two-thirds of it. Or... Here's a thought. Here's a thought. Make it free again. Hell yeah. You know he's not well, gonna I mean, do that. That would be yeah, too but easy. I mean, <laughs> but I mean, like, who's to 
if you think about like who are the people that prospered the most off of equal pay internet the big companies if you tell the big companies hey if you're going to use 30 percent of the internet can you pay for it please so, by jove man we have dick hole <laughs> 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 So that that's just that's that's my two cents. Is, hey Amazon, stop paying sixty bucks a month. I haven't bought anything from Amazon in like seven years. It's ridiculous. The last time I bought a thing from Amazon was four years ago, and it was a bow and arrow. And it was what like did a, you need a bow and arrow you for? Can, you can make one with a twig and. And twine. Shoelace. It was it was a Shoelace. church decoration. It was a church decoration. And Why does it the was church need a bow and arrow? Are they gonna shoot Jesus instead? <laughs> Guys. No, it was it was, it, the it, was a, <laughs> it was a um it was a VBS and it was based on ancient Egypt. Oh because Joseph was in Egypt. So they wanted, you know, just random they were like uh i may i personally constructed cardboard shields with gold duct tape I get and i had like yep. a yeah and i uh i even painted some onks on them to make them look really egyptian i still have those shields by the way wow they're they're like uh they're about three three uh two and a half feet high uh three feet wide and uh, yeah, they they are really nice shields. They're still holding up all these years. So anyway, the bow and arrow was from. It was based. They said it was uh, from the movie Twist. Last time I checked, there wasn't a bow and arrow in that movie, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no. Now that I think about it, I bought that. Uh, I bought that off of Walmart. dot com. Now that I'm thinking about it, just as, as you do. <laughs> There's no so, Walmart where I live. What? No, my Wal my Walmart local to me doesn't have any of that shit. I, I I'm being serious, but I don't have a Walmart in San Francisco. What the fuck? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Because there's not a Walmart in San Francisco. No wonder you what? guys are dirt poor. <laughs> wow. The way, like, the, the the, the, I guess like the cheapest place you could go buy shit is like a Target, but that's pretty much it. But it doesn't answer the question. Why is there no Walmart in San Francisco? Go ask my mayor that question. <laughs> Arnold. I'm, I'm Arnold. Googling it right now. I'm go <laughs> go ask my mayor that question. I said mayor, I am, not governor. I am Googling that right now. Too. Walmart in San Francisco. I think he's some Asian guy that's mayor now. <laughs> no yes. Much. You do have a couple of Walmarts. In San Francisco. Uh-huh. Let me hold on. Google Maps. That, that's uh, mm, yep. That's what I'm doing too. Holy shit! Where Walmart can I has find like Walmart in San California has like Walmart. Here we go. Oh, there's one at Westgate San Leandro. Let's see anyone who's watching this that's if they live in San Francisco. Side of San Francisco. Oh, that says, yeah, that's in Leandro. <laughs> it's outside of San Francisco. Oh, look, there's a Target. It's a Target, yeah. Yeah, and the Walmart. And then Where the is San Walmart. Francisco anyway on the map? It's it will say San Francisco. <laughs> okay, well, on my Google Maps, I have San Diego. You're in San Diego, though. San Francisco's up north. Okay, yeah, I just saw that. Yeah, the two closest Walmarts like, in San Francisco I, I, the only is Richmond, California, and San Leandro. You have 
The oh, closest yeah. Walmart, the only thing that's Walmart that's close to me is the corporation building that's like towards da like past Daily City. No, uh, you do have one in Oakland. That's not in San Francisco. No, but it's a it's a good enough drive. It's I mean, o no, you know, Oakland's like one of the most dangerous cities in California, right? Maybe that's why they you also got Walmart. the most ratchet bitches this side of the West Coast. <laughs> I'm like, if I go to Walmart, I'm gonna not Walmart. If I go to Oakland, I'm gonna die. So, but yeah, overall, my Walmart ain't got shit. We have three WalMarts. No, 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 five. We have five. Also, if I go to the one in Richmond, I'm gonna die. Is bring a gun. there anywhere you is there anywhere you can go that you won't die, Bamber? I mean, I mean, home. she's in California <laughs> now. No, I mean, there's a Walmart near my mom's house, and my mom lives in a pretty safe neighborhood. I mean, there's the stereotype in California that if you walk around for too long, you're going to get a syringe in your foot. But my mom lives in San Jose. She lives on, apparently, from what most people say, the rich side of San Jose. And I'm like, okay, we live, like, on the borderline then, because I live across the street from a halfway home. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Waffles just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> No, because in North Carolina, you're, like, not considered made it until you've lived at some point close to a halfway home. So, I don't know. it's well, one of I those, you like might be a redneck then. if. I mean, like, just down the street from me is a crisis pregnancy center. So, Did you say pregnancy? Yes, pregnancy. Okay. You do know that a pre that that and a halfway house are two different things, right? Yeah, but not I want to make necessarily. Oh my not god, like they're getting adult, pregnant at the like, halfway house. Planned Parenthood. Not necessarily, especially when you start hearing police sirens and gunshots. Woo! So sometimes I prefer the halfway home. <laughs> a lot of people in that regard do. <laughs> Actually, it was really funny because in my county, uh, we recently had a a hostage situation where a husband said he was holding his wife hostage just so they would go to Lowe's Food, which, if you're not familiar with Lowe's Food, is a grocery store. It's it sounds like a food max. Yeah. Uh, uh, have you been to Safeway? Yes. Yeah, it's like Safeway. I shop at Safeway regularly. So, yeah. So, yeah, he kidnapped his wife, and they took his mobile home and truck and parked it right in the Lowe's parking lot for a week. And uh, they... <laughs> they had to, um... They had to, like... They they got the wife out safely, but he decided to stay in. There. And the police, they according to reports, the police officer just had his thing, and he was like, "Sir, please come out of the, you know, RV." No, sir, please come out of the RV. No. So finally, after an hour, he finally comes out of the RV. Take him to jail. Take a mugshot. And the guy looks like a meth head. Just. Missing teeth, hairs all over the place. Not to be so, with that. But anyway, so we made family guy jokes at my work. Hey Lois, we're going to we're gonna go to Lowe's Foods. But Peter, I don't like Lowe's Foods. I said we're going to Lowe's Foods. But Peter I have to be quiet because everybody's asleep, so that, that I can't do my though. <laughs> No, I was just, I was you just know, like the, You know, it's like the one place I didn't believe existed until I heard it, heard it yeah. on like the Ellen Degenerate. Oh, okay. It was like, 
play like Piggly Wigglies. I never thought Piggly Wigglies existed until I heard it on that show. Because like an actor was like, "Yeah, I'm from here. Like, you know, go to the Piggly up. Wiggly," and I was just like, "That's a real thing." You didn't think Piggly Wiggly was real? No. Bamber. Bamber. <laughs> okay, Piggly I'm going Wiggly. AFK. I'm going <laughs> AFK. My washing machine just got done. So I have to move it into the drive. Bamboo. I didn't think Piggly Wigglies existed. Bamboo. Never ate there, but I've heard of it. It's a grocery store. You went way down on my I wish I was shipped with you list right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, Piggly yeah. Wigglies don't exist where I live. Jesus. So many like, places. Cal... In and out is only really a California thing. Woman, I've heard of In and Out and Whataburger. They're really no different than Whataburger. Yeah. I've known all these locations, burgers, including Tim Hortons, in comparison to all the ice cream spots I know about on the East Coast. Oh, you and know, I actually, I changed my mind. I actually prefer Super Duper Burgers. Super duper biggers. Yeah. Super duper. Super duper biggers. Yeah, because they're only in California. You can get super dupers. Super du I'm not going back to California for super duper. <laughs> <laughs> really good burgers and milkshakes. Milkshake sounds wonderful right now. Right? Uh I'm not going to say what I was going to say when I heard milkshake and just keep it myself. No, my milkshakes do not bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> Maybe he can get Waffles to sing it when he comes back. <laughs> that was your question. No, my milkshakes do not. Well, he's tripping over his own. That was not going to be the question. It was actually going to be something incredibly stupid. <laughs> like, you know, you know what? Nah. No, since it's stupid, you have to say it. Nah, son. What's, what's stupid? I want to hear it now. <laughs> you have to say it. Nah. At this point, it's out of context for me, but I'll still work with it. That's what... Waffles, sing us the song of our people, Milkshake, Bring All the Boys to the Yard. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't think that was in the song. Well, but, that, like, sexual groan? Yes, it is. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, He's getting a character. But, oh, but the, um, <laughs> the last part of my story is over at work because, you know, we're competitor to Lowe's. Uh, we made the joke like, oh, yeah, go to the such and such store. You don't have to kidnap your wife to come here. <laughs> Bullshit. No. I mean, we're pre we we actually outperform them in uh, where I'm at. No, I'm just saying bullshit. It's not it's but, not the wives that have to be kidnapped. Sometimes it's the husbands. Just like I I haven't even put my pants on. Why are we going to the hardware store? You fixing <laughs> up the deck right now, but everyone can see my dick out of my underwear. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? How attractive. <laughs> <laughs> but is but is the wife being kidnapped? No. <laughs> it's the husband getting kidnapped. <laughs> so, actually, generally, I, most of my customers are, like, over the age of 80. I'm oh! still waiting for you to sing. Uh, what am I singing? Milkshake, bring all the boys to the yard. Do you, you want me to sing that? Yes. Yes. Do a Twitch scenes right now? Do all the no. boys actually come to the yard, though? Waffles is the main question. Mm, well, I mean, uh, when, when I crack out the cold, when I crack open the cold ones. <laughs> um. All right, I gotta, I gotta actually sit my fat ass up for this. Shut up, you're not fat. Fat. He's P H A T. If he's fat, I'm skinny. 
and I'm. Well, I mean, okay. on Twitch, on Twitch, we're all on Persona. So you sat, or you sat three. <laughs> you, anyway, you you size three cake on Twitch. Cake. Okay, V, are you done? Are you done, V? Cake is kind I, of. Fluffy, I can't though. tell what the fuck. I can't tell what the fuck Bamber's icon is. I feel blind. I'm like gerbil. Yeah, she <laughs> said that at the start of the stream. Okay, now we'll all, all y'all shut the fuck up. He's laying it down now. Yes. I'm putting my hand on my throat so I can get that nice feminine voice. <clears throat> <clears throat> you need some music? I'll get you some music. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. It would work better if he had like a music bot in the server. That would be nice. I mean, I have one in my server. You can go steal it. I don't know if this is the right one. This must be instrumental. Oh, ha, huh. volume. Start whatever it the queue is. I don't know when it is. Hurry. YouTube's gonna copyright claim it. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Without the lyrics, it actually sounds like uh Bollywood. Waffles, you got this. My attention span's going really slow. <laughs> Mine too. Okay, while we wait for his ass, because it's already one minute into the song. <laughs> Just kidding. Man, what was it? We were talking about politics and wealthy people and stuff like that. And then it, it got to the topic of cakes and, like, other crap. We did say at the beginning of the stream that there was going to be about baking. And then we yeah. talked about psychedelics, so that incorporates it too, but... <laughs> Yeah. For those who are watching the stream, yes, I did say I did not know anything about Piggly Wigglies. The only source I ever got about Piggly Wigglies was watching that 70s show. Yeah. And I still thought it was a fake place. Bam, for you breaking my heart. <laughs> I'm sorry! The farthest I've ever gone out of California would be, like, Nevada, uh, uh, Texas. In Mexico and Ohio. Not Ohio, uh, Idaho. Idaho, her. Ha, get it. Get Nina. It. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> oh, lordy. So it reminded me of the wealth people. Wealthy people talk. It makes me think of, uh, like, the main topic was supposed to be, but we never do. Batman. Why a play why why a rich guy? To to make it so he can have all these gadgets and stuff? What about, yeah. What about so, like, in the original, what about in the TV series, though? Did so, the original premise for Batman to be a wealthy person was originally for the Golden Age of Comics about how can we turn someone of the wealthy class into someone that fights for the lower income people? The ones that fight for those below the social norms and standards. The only reason it became what it is today was because after many different revisions, redesigns, and retcons, after retcons, after retcons, after, oh, he done fucked Wonder Woman, after retcons, <laughs> after retcons. <laughs> After retcons to oh he almost married Catwoman oh wait we broke it up to future retcon they're just like, 
Batman is the symbol about what America wants to be but can never be. Someone that can put aside what they have been blessed with, if you want to say blessed, if you're super religious or not, to take all the wealth and whatnot and take all their inner turmoil and pain to fight for those that are the despondent, the destitute, and those that feel like they have nothing to fight for. That is why he is a rich man. He's like a like a black Robin Hood. Not not like, you know, black. But I mean dressed in black. I mean a lot of people are basically saying he's like the only he was like the only black man that was ever a superhero before they made black superheroes. And I'm just like, you know what? Whatever. Fuck. What a way to put it. I mean there was no no no, he was Marvel. Who is black in DC? Well, there's one black Green Lantern. Yeah. After they bought all this, the Milestone uh, Milestone Comics people, they now have Icon, Rocket, Static Shock, the Nightbreed, along with Black Lightning, even though he was known as Black Vulcan for some stupid fucking reason. I mean, there's also <laughs> Cyborg. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they made Cyborg. There's Johto. But they changed the name Johto because Johto is slang in Spanish for Agfe. Wow. To heat spot. Uh, there's Bumblebee. Bumblebee, yeah. Um, uh, Blade. Blade is a DC hero. Blade's Marvel. I'm pretty sure he's DC. Blade is Marvel, sweetie. Oh. Uh. Um, uh, uh, no, I'm trying to think. There's also, I think, Bishop. Bishop is Marvel. Uh, there's Mr. Terrific, who is technically a DC hero, but it's like kind of unused. Then there's Steel, who is kind of inspired by Shaquille O'Neal to be in DC Comics. Take that as you will. Um, there is the Black Aqualad of Calderon. What? I don't remember about it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Shit. There's like a few. There's like it's a couple more, but it's like few and far in between because. DC, for the most part, kind of doesn't do diversity right. Then again, it's kind of hard when the founders didn't really think that black people or minorities in general could be superheroes. And then go to Marvel with Stan Lee and it's like, oh shit, we have diversity out the ass. <laughs> it's probably why everyone likes Marvel more than DC, but... I'll always like DC more than Marvel. Maybe not the movies, because the DC movies are terrible. Animated movies are a godsend. The, the live action is just... Why the fuck did you make this? For sure. Reminded me of live action. Uh, What about that talk about the new two movies of Batman? The one where um, it said that Robert Pattinson... Robert yeah. The Edward. sparkly vampire. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and I talked about this during a family podcast I have with Britt that we film and then release on Wednesdays whenever I have time to post the videos. Um, he's pissed because Robert Pattinson does not fit the mold for what fits as Batman, and I'm like, no shit. Because, as much as I love Robert Pattinson when he's not in Twilight, because he is a good actor, he's just not able to channel what makes Bruce Wayne Bruce Wayne. 
he would fit more into what Jason Todd before the whole Red Hood thing than Batman in general. Yes. But yeah. uh, then again, I'm one of those people that hates Ben Affleck and anything that he's in because I've met the bastard. I hate him on a personal level. Is he a jerk? He is a fucking dick. Never meet your heroes. Yeah. He was never my hero. I just fucking hate him. <laughs> I was like, cool, meet an actor. Oh my god, he's a complete asshole. Like, we were supposed to be trying to... This is back when I used to be a, a news report, a reporter on YouTube, which is like, oh, so you had a news degree? No, we just did the fucking news. Don't ask me for credentials. <laughs> we were trying to do at least entertainment news by actually interviewing Ben Affleck because during that time, he was doing interviews with everybody. So we set it up. One of my friends flies up to California. We were going to do the whole thing over, like, um, the uh, video call system back in 2008. I forget what that was exactly. But, um, we set it up. We're getting ready to do it. And then he's just the complete fucking dick that blows us off and just curses us. And then just walks out the fucking room. Wow. I've only met a couple celebrities ish kind of like the guy who played Billy and Veronica Taylor and Jonathan Frakes. In a way they gave off this like the aura that they did not want to be there but they were they were nice. They were friendly with us. It's always nice, I guess. It's very but, rare. But uh but uh, yeah, when people are just like Bat Fleck is a great Batman, I'm like Ben Affleck deserves to choke on a dick and die. <laughs> oh yeah, so it reminded me of the uh, the other movie I was talking about. What about the new Joker movie that's coming out? With Joaquin Phoenix. Is that his name? Wow. Yeah, I'm interested. Joaquin that's definitely Phoenix. the one that I like. I want to see. Because I've always liked no. the Joker out of all the bad guys. Oh, yeah. so... What the? That's my phone. Why are you so far away? <laughs> it's my phone. Because <laughs> so, I was playing that YouTube that... video. <laughs> Waffles no sing. So, I know. I know. So he the thing us. that uh, is a big theory with people is that the Joaquin Phoenix Joker is a prequel to a Batman v Superman to set up how Batfleck becomes a thing. And I'm just like, no. This is just Joaquin Phoenix trying to pull his best uh, Heath Ledger for us in all his glory because Jared Leto was a fucking idiot. I've never seen that movie either, but I'm waiting for it to come on Netflix because I have a feeling it will be. What, the Suicide Squad movie? Yeah, I didn't... I, I still am not really hyped for it, but I still want to say that I saw it and I haven't seen it yet. I mean, the most part that I can say is Will Smith does a good job as Deadshot. I heard that. I heard about that. And Marg uh, Margot, Margit, whatever the fuck you want to say her first name, Robbie kind of does an okay Harley. Like, for me, I prefer my Harley thick thicker than a snacker. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> but she did okay. Putting my own personal tastes aside, because I, I don't usually I don't usually get hung up on ladies that are a dress size two uh, two to five. That's never been me. Um, the writing was just awful. Jared Leto was an awful Joker. Certain scenes were just pointless. A lot of the Best characters were underutilized. And it just kind of felt more like 
a typical superhero movie than a super anti-hero movie. Huh. Isn't it in the comics? the equivalent... What, Suicide Squad? Yeah. In the comics, it's just they take these people out of prison to work for the government where there's just like, if you die, they just replace you with another criminal straight from prison. <laughs> That's the usually, Suicide Squad. <laughs> usually yeah. villains don't last more than just three, three to five issues unless they're super popular, like Harley, when it was her and Deadshot basically fucking. <laughs> Not sure coding it they literally had it to where they had adult issues where it was implied from mere panels that they were plowing and where certain bed frames would be shaking from certain panels wow they was fuck but um it's is nothing really too crazy or out of out of the blue for what they do. It's just the movie was fucking dumb. The only reason it won an, a, an award was for the makeup effects that it did for Killer Croc, and even still, it just looked like a giant underused CGI mess from a Hulk movie. Oh wow. So it was worse than the illustration that is in Arkham Asylum? That one is good compared to what you see in Suicide Squad. Ah, that makes sense. Alrighty, well I don't know where Waffles is. And it is getting pretty late. I feel like I'm holding you guys hostage by now. <laughs> I need it's to like get my laundry out of the dryer. It's like 9.44 here, it's, so... It's, it's 10.44 and I, I want to eat because my burnt chicken did not go very well. It was the shake and bake... It was a See, the shake and bake package is for barbecue wings. Well, I don't have wings, so I had chicken breast, so I cut those up. But because they were still kind of wet, because they were thawed, it didn't... Yeah. I think I kind of burnt Why a little bit. Why don't you go make yourself a sandwich and me and Vile will hold up the chat when you Wait, Vi what? What? Wow. I'm not Vile. Wow. I'm Vile. Uh <laughs> wow. I'm not paying attention. Wow. wow. I'm sorry. Wow. wow. I also see these also online. That's why I looked over there. I think, wow. I think, I think Bamber needs to go to bed. <laughs> I do not need to go to bed. I believe I, I feel hurt you right now. You know what time yeah. I got up today, Bray? Five. In the morning? No. Oh. Jesus. So you said that your baking job, you have to get up an early ass in the morning to bake. Yeah, but stuff. because of my tendinitis, I got the week off. Still, you you think your body would be like, this is, this is fine. <laughs> Oh yeah, because it's catching up on sleep. Yeah. Well, now. But what? I'm sorry! <laughs> Alrighty. I can't send you any baked goods. They won't make it on the tree. Wow. I even clipped it too. That was, that was great. <laughs> What did what, what did Waffle yeah, say he was he was gonna do? He was gonna sing, and then it just didn't happen. I wonder if he's getting his Twitch sing activated. I told him like, no, you don't have to do that. Just, just go and grab the thing. Just, just start singing. And now he's getting all ready, makeup, dressed, high heels. I don't know which way he's trying to find out. Maybe I could tweet him. Bug his phone. I doubt he has uh, alerts on, though. I don't know. Because hmm. I really don't want to end it without him here. Oh, let's just wait. No, he cannot. <laughs> <laughs> Can you all hear me? No. What if he was singing and we didn't realize it? Oh my god. I'd be so pissed. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god. Or X. Hello, no, hello. Okay, yeah. Did you sing earlier? No, I, I've actually been, uh, I, I was trying to sing, and I was singing, but then y'all went off on some other tangent, and then I had to go do laundry. <laughs> we didn't I hear you. Uh, <laughs> And then, and then all of a sudden, I decided to look up because V was talking about Ben Alflat, and I remembered this other artist who was a bitch with the last name of Sullivan. She's a complete cunt. And yeah, I actually met her in person. She's she's a bitch. So. But do your milkshakes? bring the boys to the yard <laughs> well, well i can't do it now because my throat hurts oh my because god because i have excuses. my thumb shoved in my, i have my thumb shoved in it if i do it anymore i'll cause permanent damage oh my god but that's not with your mouth though <laughs> with that mouth normally. You know. okay now we sound like sexual harassers <laughs> I mean, well, well, I mean when I have it doesn't too matter. Much pressure on the throat for too long, it starts to hurt the throat, and then I can't speak. Poor thing. I got you. That's why I don't do my feminine voice very much. Stop reading, playing visual novels. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Oh boy. <laughs> now where where did V go? He he fucked off. <laughs> He's V, your mic is dead. The silence. The silence. Hello, Doug friend. <laughs> Oh, by song. the way, Jast USA, in case if any of y'all wonder, they are having their summer sale till July 7th. Oh, oh now you know who I am. Is he, oh. Are you really going to be petty right now? Are you really petty? He's going to be petty. You heard his feelies. Oh, yeah, that's right. You heard his feelies. Waffles, were you wait, 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 were you here when he called when Bamber called V vile? By I accident. Hear, yeah. Yes, Britt, I could hear all of that, okay. but I remember I can hear you, but you can't hear me. Ooh. That's what was going on. My mic decided to die on me. Ah, okay. If he's gonna be like this, I should just go then. It's alright. I think I think he's Bamber just trying to find tired, an excuse but everyone else is. Alrighty. It has been an hour and 40 minutes. I want to go eat, and I have to take off my headset, and I'd rather not. Well, one second, one second, one second. Before we do this, hey, V, you have 15 seconds to get your butt back here, or we're just turning it off without you. And you don't get the endorsement. I'm sorry. Put in your last promo. Shameless plug. Go, everyone. One at a time. I don't know. I don't care. Go I don't go. have any promo. Uh, go to toko.tech. Toko.tech, um, you said? Toko.tech, um, where you'll get free speech. Okay. And you won't get banned for liking uh, anime titties. Yeah, that was still a bullshit day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you came in right on the last second there, B. <laughs> he did. Anyway, B, plug it in. Plug it in, B. Do your plug. Well, I, I would, but that's kind of like indecent exposure. I'm just kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. All right, right, just okay. kill the screen. Just kill the screen. <laughs> he, he, he spent his plug. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you guys want to actually see me try to be funny instead of like fuck uh, fuck all and everything of me just playfully be petty with this with this lovely lady I want to be shipped with for some odd reason I can't explain. 
Um, you guys can follow me at twitch.tv forward slash V the artist where I do a bunch of random streams where I do like stuff like Judgment, I do Dragon Age Inquisition, I do Hollow Knight, I do Gravity Rush 2, I do my own.